That's right, a lot of people up there can't get jobs. They can't get jobs, because there are no jobs. Because China has our jobs, and Mexico has our jobs. They all have a job. Explain to us how you think about the U.S.-China relationship, given some of the comments that Donald Trump has made about China being a, manipula uh, a currency manipulator. Did that, did that come up during your meeting? Well, I think first, in America, there's a freedom of speech, right? So he can say whatever he wants, and I respect, I understand. But of course, I have my views. First. I think 30 years ago, when I just graduated from universities, I heard America had a wonderful strategy. They outsource the manufactured job, service jobs. They outsource the manufacturer to Mexico and China. Outsource the service job to, to India. And I think it's a perfect strategy. You know that they, the Americans said, oh, we just want to control the IP, we just want to technology, we just want to brand and leave the, the, the lower end of jobs for the world. Great strategy. Past 30 years, IBM, Cisco, Microsoft, they made tons of money. The money, the profit they made, are much more than the four largest banks in China put together. The Mo China Mobile Phone, China Unicom, and whatever you name it, put together. Still, these multinational companies made more money than. But where did the money go? Past the 30 years, the American had 13 wars, spending $14.2 trillion. The money going there. What if they spent a part of that money on building up the infrastructure? helping the white cars, the, the white colors and blue colors. No matter how strategy good it is, you're supposed to spend money on your own people. And the other money which I'm curious about is that when I was young, I heard America is bad, Ford, Ford, and Boeing, those big manufacturing companies. Last 10, 20 years, I heard about is Silicon Valley and Wall Street. The money go to the Wall Street. And what happened? Year 2008. The financial crisis wiped out $19.2 trillion USA alone. They wiped out all the white colors and destroyed 34 million jobs globally. So what if the money, it's not Wall Street, what if the money spent on the Middle East, Middle West of the United States, developing the industry there, that could be changed a lot. So it's not the other countries steal jobs from you guys. It is your strategy. Okay, but, but you do not distribute the money, the, the money and things in a proper way.